Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and this is a last minute shoot because something amazing just came out for the K20 Pro. Yes, we are talking about the official stable MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11 for the global variant of the K20 Pro which is also known as Mi 90 Pro. Now, I'll tell you all the particulars in this video, how to install it and what all is changed and stuff. We will see that together because this is my first look as well. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us and support the channel last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going All right, so the reason you see TWRP over here is because if you remember from yesterday's live stream, I had flashed the stock ROM on all the three devices, not the 10T Pro, all the three devices and uh, I was on the stock Indian MIUI 12.0.5 and I tried to you know update it from the updater but it gave me an error because this is a stable beta. This is a pilot test release that has been you know released recently. So. If you wish to flash it, if you wish to try it, you will have to do through TWRP for which of course you need an unlocked bootloader. In this video, you and me together, what we're going to do is I'm going to install it. I'm going to have my first look at it. So that will be my initial impressions and then I'll use it as a personal device with this update and we will have a full review. All right, so first things first, the link for the file is mentioned in the description. I have copied it to the phone's internal memory. Let's go ahead and flash it. So you need to have an unlocked bootloader and orange box recovery. Go to wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data. Don't wipe internal because that is where the file is. Swipe to confirm wipe. Okay, then go to install. This is the file, Rafael Global 12.5.1. So this is real, as you can see. Swipe to confirm flash. Now what we will also do is after the flashing is done, we will be formatting data. So before you actually go ahead and follow this guide, make sure you back up everything on your internal memory because everything will be lost. And because this is the Android version upgrade from Android 10 to 11, we will be doing a clean flash which includes formatting data. Now this is a big file, two to three gigabytes. As usual, you know, Xiaomi operating systems are huge in size. It will take two to three minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see, everything has been flashed. That is the ROM is flashed, wipe cache. And now we are going to go back and go here or go to wipe, format data, type in yes. There you go. Now normally we do a reboot recovery but this time we will directly boot into MIUI and have a first look at it. Now I know we've had a lot of you know uh, exposure to MIUI 12.5 when it comes to the China version or Xiaomi.eu or a BXROG but this is the real deal this is the official update which has gone to the Mi 9T Pro. The first boot this is MIUI will take anywhere between three to five minutes so please be patient while that happens and you can already see that instead of the colorful MIUI 12 logo we have a new plain silver or white MIUI logo. So let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we can have a look at the setup menu and everything else. All right, so after about three to five minutes, the phone has booted just fine and we will have a look at the setup menu. Now over here, I cannot control the brightness. So please excuse me, the brightness is always a little high in the setup menu. So let's hit next. And you see over here, the UI is completely changed and based on MIUI 12.5. So let's quickly skip the setup menu. I'm not going to sign into anything over here. Let's skip to the home screen and then let me show you the changes. All right, now the moment you go to the home screen, you get this got apps notification, then you get this swipe to switch between control center and notification shade. So what this means is, if you swipe to the left, you can get all your notifications. If you swipe to the right, you can get your control center. We will talk about the control center in a while. We'll just disable the automatic brightness and I think the clarity is pretty good. So let's go ahead and talk about MIUI 12.5 on the K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro. Now before we begin, let me tell you very clearly, this update is intended for the global version of this phone that is the Mi 90 Pro. You might have an NFC toggle but it will not work. Okay, so I'll tell you the other changes. First, as always, we start with the system info. So let's go to settings. Let's go to about phone and let's go to MIUI version. The MIUI version is MIUI 12.5.1 and that is stable, right? 
Now moving on, if you go to all specifications, you do have the security patch, which is the first of May. I know we are in June, but that's Xiaomi being Xiaomi, right? Let's reduce the brightness a little bit more. Now, another thing to check over here is that the smoothness is there. And initially, because the setup has just completed, there might be some jitters here and there, but once you allow the ROM to settle in, it should perform just fine. Now moving on, let's see what launcher we have. Now to the left, of course, you have the app vault right which is the updated app vault which is good to see so you can get the news and stuff over here as well although it is not google discover right if you go to settings if you go to more and if you go to launcher you see this is the system launcher so this is not the poco launcher that you get in the indian version system navigation you can choose gestures and you can also hide the full screen indicator so you do get android 10 gestures unlike the indian version now let's quickly go ahead and switch to dark mode over here there we go so that you can see the ui much better and much clear all right now moving on you do have system launcher with all the options that you need right you have the home screen layout you can select the layout over here global icon animations is available right and you can select what type of recents do you want like horizontal or vertical right as you can see over here there you go so that is another neat addition and to the left as i said you do have the app vault now this you as i said earlier this comes with the new boot animation of miui 12.5 and you can actually go ahead and disable it because i personally found it annoying but some of you might like it it really really depends and nobody's judging you if you go to additional settings in sound you can go ahead and disable the boot audio so at least they have that option to go ahead and disable it moving on let's have a quick look at the android 11 easter egg right so go to about phone and go to all specs android version is 11 1 2 3 there you go the cat is here now in order to you know go ahead and get this to work you have to go to notification and control center and go to smart home and select android r easter egg now if you'll notice over here you do get all these options so the cat game is working just fine but remember in this update you don't have the bubble support for notifications or floating apps and stuff like that it is not present right now as i said this does come with the updated control center the brightness bar at the bottom stays at the bottom it doesn't go all the way down so they have fixed that and if you adjust the brightness it stays there and everything else disappears so that is a pretty pretty clean and subtle look and as i said you can swipe between notifications and your notification tiles the only thing that you don't get is the 12.5 china power menu it would have been great if we would have got that but unfortunately you don't really have that option so let's go to settings over here right and after going to settings if you go to apps you do have an option called uninstalled system apps as you can see over here this feature is now working it was not working in MIUI 12.5 for the POCO X3 Pro but it is working and you can go ahead and install it so that's good to see over here and apart from this you have an option called manage home screen shortcuts so you can go ahead and enable or disable them from the home screen directly so that makes your experience even better now moving on if we talk about the camera application it is the same old camera application with the same old features i've not seen any more you know additional features or additional options if you go to more and if you go to edit you do have all the options that were available earlier as well same thing you have the very old gallery as well so if you go to the settings of the gallery you do have an option to securely share pictures which doesn't share the metadata and the geolocation info of the picture right so that is really really nice but apart from this if you go to settings and if you go to privacy protection you do have the same old user interface nothing like uh, china miu 12.5 you don't have the partial screenshot or tap tap as you can see it in mi 11x right and 
Android 10 gestures as I mentioned they are available I've not run the benchmark numbers yet that I will cover in the full review but what we are definitely going to do is we are going to install BGMI on this and today we will have a live stream while playing BGMI this is a bone stock MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11 for the Mi 9T Pro let's see how it performs in the FPS test I will put up a post when we are going live let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye